All right, so this Sunday morning, I'm over here at the shop working on this little rascal, the uh, Eton Viper Jr. Um, there's no motor in it, as you can see. Um, the issue this one was having is uh, it had two motors. One had bad crank bearing, and the other one didn't have any sparks. So uh, my brother and I went through this box. Um, this motor here is the one with the uh, bad crank bearing. And uh, I'm going to put the – I'll put this phone in here. I don't know if you can hear it. Hear the like a rubbing noise, nothing to see, but it's the rubbing noise on the inside. It feels like it's got good compression, but uh, not very good uh, bearings or noise coming out of the bottom, bottom end. Um, so what we did is we got this other motor over here. Um, good compression, doesn't make any noise, no spark though. Um, these motors right here, I guess it's the magneto or the flywheel. And the flywheel uh, cover, got the coil and all that stuff and we we tried this one originally um, and we didn't get any spark we, we just set the motor next to the bike just up on the side here and hooked all the wires up no spark but we had another one and that's the one we actually put on it and when we put it on it we hooked the wires up and it did have spark um, so right now and I, I can't do this because I'm using my phone to video so I can't really record the whole thing so I'm gonna talk you through it do it and then I'll show you what I did um, I'm gonna mount the motor and then I'm gonna hook the exhaust up um, and then once the motor is mounted, get the chain hooked up, get the carburetor hooked up to the fuel lines, and then uh, see if I can get this thing to, to start. Um, pretty much, let's see if I can turn this light on. There we go. There are three holes right there. There are three holes, or I mean three bolts right there at the bottom of the motor. I was just making sure that was the right size nut for it. I had a bag full of parts. Um, Gonna mount that in place. The chain's ready to be hooked up. Um, the carburetor. Uh, where is it? The top of the carburetor is somewhere. I think it's been. Oh, that was hanging down there. Top of the carburetor is ready to go down there. Um, this can actually be in the front. The uh, weird thing about this is here's the exhaust. The exhaust plugs into the back of the motor, and the carburetor goes in the front which usually is the opposite. You've got the exhaust that wraps around the uh, motor and plugs in the front with the carburetor on the back. But, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the camera now. I'm gonna get the motor in place, bolt it down, um, get the exhaust on, and hook the carburetor up. Um, so next time I flip this thing on, I should be uh, pretty much got it all back together. I'm see, maybe even trying to get this thing to start. But uh, hang on, let's, uh, let me get some of that work done. All right, so a second ago I just showed you the three bolts on the bottom for the for the motor. Those are now bolted down so the motor's in place. There was two bolts here that had to be put in. Um, the exhaust had to be tightened up. So you had the bolt here, bolt there we had to find, and then the exhaust actually has a bottom and a top. The two bolts here, they were 10 millimeter, and then up, Top ones are smaller, they're eight millimeter. Those are put in. Um, fuel lines right there coming off the carburetor. Got that one hooked up. On this side, we put new lines on this side as well. There's these two here. And then we go on from the tank, come from the tank to the pet cot. This one going to the carburetor. And uh, I'm gonna pull it. Well, we've already started it once. Maybe I'll set too low. Alright. Took a couple of pulls and messed with the choke. We got it running the... The first time we tried to start it, it took maybe two pulls and the thing was going. But, uh... <laughs> Get him to go to that sand dune. Oh, slow down, man. <laughs> the blow the motor off.
<laughs> Give him the commas rocks. <laughs> 